Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure on this August occasion to introduce the Executive Director of the Jacobs Abbey Institute for Global Studies, a scientific researcher, consultant, diplomat and expert in global public health policy. He has an extensive background in international human rights, leadership and conflict resolution. He is also a distinguished fellow from the Institute of Comparative Studies, University of Connecticut and also holds an associate degree in health information management and a bachelor of science in healthcare administration from Purdue Global University. He also holds a master of business administration degree in healthcare management and health policy from Donald R. Tapia School of Business, St. Leo University, and a PhD in health services with a special concentration in public health policy from College of Health Science, Walden University. This great man serves at the United Nations Institute for Research and Training and is a frequent speaker at the United Nations and a keynote speaker at charitable events across the globe. He is currently the Global Diplomatic Council Special Envoy to the African Union and the United Nations. Aside his diplomatic life, he has sacrificed a part of his life to serve as a friend, confidant, counselor, and a teacher to many around the world. But most importantly, he is a wonderful family man. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I present His Excellency, Ambassador Dr. Samuel Jacobs Abbey, Executive Director of the Jacobs Abbey Global Institute for Leadership Studies. Thank you. Be the agent of yourself. Now, I want to remind students that the reason why we go to school to learn which I have uh, always alluded to, to students in class, that we go to school to learn, not because we want to be classified as the most outstanding students or the most knowledgeable student, but the purpose of we acquiring knowledge is to have the skill set so when opportunity presents itself, we will be in right shape and right place to chance on opportunities. Now, all of you have gone through this wonderful program um, to be trained as uh, uh, young diplomats. The expectation is that you will be an agent of change. The purpose of this meeting and this gathering are primarily meant to bring solution to the world's problem. It will be sad on your part to be a contributor of the world's problem with knowledge, skills, and acquisition of new ideas and new friendship, it is expected that as students, having gone through all these trainings and these models, you will apply this knowledge uh, to the best of your ability with the intent of changing the world. I challenge each and every one of you that from this day onward, you will become a flag bearer of this institute and a great ambassador of this learning program. And that on behalf of the Jacobs Abbey Global Institute for Leadership Studies and our core partner for this program, the Global Diplomatic Council, you will be a full representation of the ideologies, doctrines, and the knowledge that you have learned. As you move out of this institution into other place of learning, and other opportunities across the globe, always keep it at the back of our mind that we are people of resilience. We go through many hurdles, but yet we survive. And the pain which we pin on you is a pain of honesty, determination, focus, and not giving up. And by so doing, we are able to permeate through obscure places. Once again, I challenge each and every one of you to be the agent of your own change. We learned in one of our cohort programs that Elena Roosevelt, the wife of the former president of the United States and also a UN ambassador, said that be the change as little and small to the point that it may not even be recognized on the world map. 
But the impact you leave is that you become the source of the change. And so for this graduation and as you go out, I want to inspire all of you once again that your exiting of this program is not the end of our relationship. In fact, it is the beginning of a new relationship that we have established. We will be there to support you. We'll be there to introduce you to great opportunities. And we actually look forward uh, for a deeper relationships. And those of you who are looking forward to join our next cohort program, we believe and we hope that this learning process continues. And we look forward to welcome you back into our institute for other area of studies. Again, on behalf of the board of trustees and the board of directors, I want to take this opportunity once again to congratulate all of you for going through this program successfully and learning successfully. And I believe that we can proudly introduce you to our partners and associates as qualified diplomats to be used for the purpose of social change. Once again, thank you. And I appreciate and recognize all of your effort and your hard work. And I look forward uh, to a great opportunity uh, in the future. Thank you and God bless all of you. Congratulations once again to all of you.